speaker. Mrs. Fo you know what? She's going to the back there. I just laughed. Mrs. Fida Lati. She's got a wonderful ministry called Parent Shield, and she's a family life coach. So let's put our hands together. Wonderful ladies in the Lord. Amen. Uh, I'm so pumped up to be here. I'm so happy to be in the presence of mothers. Um, I would like to recognize Reverend Mrs. Charlie Cray. She's a wonderful woman of God. I really, she's like a sister to me. Amen. And, um, I'm just so glad that <laughs> I'm connected to a woman like this. God Amen. bless you. I see your ministry all over the world. Amen. Amen. You know, gathering women together Amen. to pray. Amen. Um, I really want God to continue to expand you. Amen. You are blessed highly. Amen. 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 God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Amen. And I'm really privileged to meet Reverend Benedicta today. When I saw the flyers, oh, she's so pretty. I'm reconnecting the spirit. I'm reconnecting the spirit. So it's a great opportunity to meet you. I honor you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Um, I came with my two beautiful daughters. So you see me going to the back. You know, as usual, the mother thing that we do. Yeah, Thelma and Selassie, where is she? And uh, I, I'm, I'm just grateful that God gave them to me. They are so wonderful. Amen. Um, when I, I was invited to come for this program, my best friend, my prayer partner, uh, she saw the flyer even before I could call. I said, oh, I'm driving you there. Wow. <laughs> and so Juliana is here with me. Could you just appreciate her? Yes. Well, last night, Minister Rose called me. Vida, you haven't invited me, but I will be there anyway. <laughs> <laughs> She's here. Let's appreciate her. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. um, Harriet is here. She's a friend of mine. She's under my coaching as well. So it's great to have you here. I honor you. Um, Victoria <laughs> is also one of my best friends. She's always uh, been there for us, especially during Shield Ministry, and she, she is here with us today. So um, I appreciate you, and uh, I appreciate all of you. You know, coming to meet women um, like this is a special occasion mm -hmm. that God recognizes. So can we just appreciate one another? You know what, when you are the last speaker, <laughs> your message is butchered. <laughs> Actually, finished. <laughs> so I wouldn't really so much go deep down into all the things they've said. Actually, they preach my message in a way. <laughs> but you know what? Um, I honor you when you say, Pastor Vida, I wish. <laughs> but I am a coach. But I, I pray to God that if that is my ministry, you should call me into it. And, uh, I'm just going to begin to talk about what I want to talk about today. As a coach, I have worked with families and um, uh, parents, children of all classes. I'm a nurse by profession, if you don't know. Mm -hmm. and, um, and so I've come across so many um, cases that I identify with as families. Mm -hmm. And so I would like to um, discuss case studies with you. I'm not here to preach, sorry. <laughs> I'm here to really expose some of the ways that the enemy is using mm. to seep into society and steal our star children from us. Mm. So I'll go quickly to, I was supposed to use, you know, I'm used to presenting on the uh, slide, so I prepared my slide, but I think we couldn't get a laptop um, in time. So I'll try to just go through the slides with you. My first case study uh, is going to talk about how vulnerable we can be as mothers um, sometimes. Uh, 
um, it's a case that happened in Ukraine. Most of you might have seen that in the newspapers. Uh, a, mother, a single mother who entrusted a five-year-old girl into the hands of a boyfriend. I believe she's thinking about herself. I believe she's that vulnerable, looking so much for love that um, she doesn't care or she trusts the man so much that she doesn't even really think a little bit hide. So she just, she was enough, let go. And that is the, one of the strategies of the enemy mm. to deceive us that we are being loved by somebody, especially yes. when you are that hungry for love. Single yeah. mother, yeah. I really appreciate single mothers, but yeah. sometimes the enemy uses, yeah. you know, our vulnerability yeah. to attack us. Yeah. This five-year-old has been sexually molested by the distracted boyfriend. Yeah. If your parents should have posted those things, you might have seen it. But you know what? Today I'm talking about the battlefield. Because I am a parenting coach and I've learned so much about parenting. So I used to give 20 factors why this happens. You know, I've been taught um, to, to tell people this is factor one, this is what you should do. Then a few uh, months ago, God spoke to me and said, you know what, I'm the originator of families. No matter how many factors you give to those uh, parents, it's, it's not going to really work. But you should know you are on a battlefield. So I declared 21 days prayers online, those who knew me. Um, it, it was out of total obedience because I keep on, you know, when I post on social media, I'll say, I'm not a reverend, I'm not, you know, but I had to obey because we have to come to a place of obedience mm -hmm. for God to use us for the purpose for which we've been called. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. So, um, after the 21 days prayers, the word God gave to me is that parent has to shift the battlefield. Mm. And I said, what is the meaning of shifting the battlefield? He said, because some of us have declared ourselves as Christians. And because we are somehow lost in the church, we are somehow lost into the things of the church, it has to be you know, prayers are just as we've organized now, but individually, we are not shifting our battleground. So the enemy is seeping through. The enemy is coming through, well-dressed, no more with homes. Mm -hmm. You know, no more with, when they are unbelievers, of course we are comfortable, we know well they are in the world. But now in the church, a young boy just committed suicide yes. in my church. Jesus. And it brings me to tears. Some of the things I come to turn with or come across in my daily life. When um, uh, Reverend Charlie Quinn was talking, she mentioned so many things that I've also prepared to mention. The ways our stars are being stolen. And yet we are that ignorant. And we, we, we accept things like that somehow, ignorantly. It's not because we want to, but the enemy knows how to play it. The enemy knows how to sip in without us knowing. The Bible says, while, while men were sleeping. So somehow, we've fallen into this thing called church. And so we all go to church. And so we all, uh, you know, we do the religious things. And so we think, yes, that is it, we are covered. Can I tell you something? I'm sorry. Mm. We are not covered yet. Yeah, yeah. Not until you rise up and shift your battlefield. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. When God began to unfold things like this to me, then he said, you know what? Expose the strategies of the enemy mm. to your people. Because if you are on the battlefield and you don't know, you don't know the strategies of your opponents, mm -hmm. definitely you can't prepare for the exactly. battle. And therefore you would be defeated. Mm -hmm. And this is what is going on. Mm -hmm. We need to know the strategies. Mm -hmm. We need to find ways to be able to fight that battle and shift our battleground mm -hmm. on our knees. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to, I'll continue to present to you a few cases just to bring realities. You know, I can tell you so many examples why things, no, no, I don't want to sugarcoat it. I want to say it just as it is and just as it is happening. We are closing our eyes sometimes, you know, you hear it's not your child. Um, 
Reverend Benedicta mentioned, your next door neighbor. Oh, it is them. It, it, it may not happen to me, but your good child could be on the bus with that one, yes. that neighbor's child who is naughty, and the knife. Yeah. Okay, hallelujah. Amen. I hope I'm getting somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> hallelujah. Yes, so I'm coming with realities and the strategies of the enemy. Yeah. Case 32 is also about another single mother. I don't know why sometimes uh, I, I believe it's just one of the strategies to destroy these women who are already battered, who are already suffering rejection. So he uses that to come in, yes. to get them, because they just want that love. Sisters, if you have single mothers in your church or in your neighborhood, just give them some love. Give them some love because you might just be saving their lives and their children's lives. Hallelujah. So, Michael 32 says a five year old boy, this one is a boy, so, well, boys are being abused as well anyway. But, this boyfriend again, Mata, and this happened in Catford, just landing here, so I brought like, local things, something just happened. Um, went to the park to play. You know children play in the park and they lose things. You come home and you find out they, their shoes are gone. Sure. That is normal. Any normal father, any loving father would take that to be just ordinary. But this um, father, out of his own wickedness, hit the boy. This boy died later in the evening. Souls have been destroyed. A star child is gone. It, it, it really grace my heart. And these are the realities we are living with, the strategies of the enemy to steal our star children from us. What are we doing about it? It might not be yours, but it's for your neighbor. Yeah. We never know. Yeah. We never know. So we need to be on the alert. Those are some of the strategies the enemy is using yeah. to destroy us. Coming to um, my tech. My tail off of slide. <laughs> I'm used to my. Um, all right, okay. Yes, mental health issues mm. in children. Mm. Which is fresh, fresh. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. You know, back home, when we talk about mental health issues, you might be having some tactic to a child that is going, you know, yeah. that way, yellow fever or high fever or something like that. Not so shall we, can you might have really. Um, but. This, this really something else happening. The enemy is entering into the minds of our children yeah, yeah. to confuse them, to make them feel they are not whole, to make them feel they, 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 there is something else their soul is needing. Uh, so much to the extent that the statistics are staggering. My tummy chance when I see things like this. I've been in nursing for 17 years. Well, I recently just gave up my work. Just as I had a very good contract. You know how the enemy is? I said, when my children turn teenagers, I don't care how much money. You just said, <laughs> it, was, it is worth it for me to just resign. I said, look, I will do anything. Yeah. I have seen too much to relax. Yeah, yeah. I have seen too much to just say, well, let it, it cannot be until you shift your battle. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. So, um, 60% of mental health issues in our trust today, I'm talking about 11,000 plus children with mental health issues under the age of what? Can somebody help me here? Just guess, under the age of what? 11. <clears throat> wow. Under the age of five. That brings my tears. It hurts me. Age of five, what do they know? That is the time you are so close to mom, you are being provided with everything. What is the problem? At the age of five for a child, under the age of five, to be having mental issues. Satan, you are a liar. Yeah. Hallelujah. But this is what is happening in England today. And it is even worse in America and all over. You know what? This the strategies of the enemy of to destroy yes. our seeds, yes. to destroy our star children, yes. so that the future yes. will be bleak. Yes. We will be, you know, the time that nobody, you know, we need our children to carry us, yes. our generation to carry us, yes. you know, the next generation to carry us. Yes. Should it be the time that our children are on the streets? Yes. Should it be the time that you are in pain? Well, you might have all the, you know, be in the best mansion, 
being, you know, because this generation we work so hard, I appreciate that. But are you looking deep down into the future? Mm -hmm. Mental health crisis. And you know how it manifests? Eating disorders because they look at the celebrities as little as five. What do you know? Do you want to stay in shape or what? They are looking at that icon. They, so they have eating disorders. Either they are eating so much bulimia or they are, they are, they are, they are just not ready to eat. They want to under the age of five. Yes. Um, depression. Under the age of five, you know what? When we talk about teenagers, yes, I sort of somehow, you know, the hormonal changes and yes. the chemical things. We sort of understand that, but the enemy is using a different yeah. thank you. So we need to be alert now. Um, we've we, we've seen anxiety. Have you ever seen an anxiety attack yeah. before, like panic attack? Yeah. Yes, maybe in LA. People, people, parents, or people who are afraid of something, but under the age of five, mm. that got me thinking. These are some of the things that's happening in society. If you just go online, please search for some of these things and find the realities for yourself so we know what we are dealing with. As I said earlier, if you know the battle plan of your opponents, mm. that is how we can now reach. A true war and win. Hallelujah. Amen. Under the age of 18, I'm not going to talk about that. It's quite staggering. Mm -hmm. I belong to a website where we secretly allow teenagers to just write letters to us to express themselves, whatever they are feeling that they cannot even discuss with their own parents. I just want to read one of the letters to you. Or can somebody just help me with this? Just read them. Because, you know, it makes, it breaks my heart when I read it myself. Thank you so much. I feel so lost. <clears throat> I'm not sure when it started or why it is so strong. On the outside, I seem happy. No one thinks anything wrong. But on the inside, I'm dying. Screaming for someone to see me. That the happy smile and carefree laugh is not the real me. I've never been happy. Not that I can recall. Between the world and myself, I've built up a wall. I don't know why I'm, I'm like this. It makes no sense to me. I actually come from a very close... <coughs> Sorry, listen to that. Very... So we are being deceived. Sometimes we think, oh, because she's a single mother. Sometimes we label because they don't go to church. Sometimes we label because uh, they are not loving enough. Or because we are not able to provide all the digital things or the phones and things they ask for. This is it. Very close meeting mm -hmm. But even they have no idea of the hell I endure. Wow. They think I'm happy and normal. Of this I am sure. I can't take it much longer. I can't live like this. I want to feel truly happy. That is my biggest wish. I need help. But who will help me? Mm. Who could comprehend? Is there anyone out there? Who can help bring this to an end? Wow. Or am I simply trapped, a prisoner of despair? Wow. Am I really all alone? Is there no hope for me out there? I'm so lost. Please help me. I can't do this alone. I need someone in my corner, a friend to call my own. Please help me by a teenager. Wow. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Gosh. This brings me to tears. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because if I can have my child, mm -hmm. My teenager, because I have teenagers, yeah. and they are looking for help. Now, let's think about it. You are in your happy home. You are not even thinking about your next door neighbor. She's looking for a friend, not you. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. We need to find out what the strategy is on the other side, so we can fight this battle anyway. <coughs> God is on our side. Now I want to quickly go into one of the slides quickly. Crime. <laughs> you cannot identify with me. Recently on the news, what happened? Thirteen is here. That was on the 9th of August. Thirteen is here. Two teenagers knifed within 24 hours. That was in the BBC News. When I hear things like this, I don't know what happens to you when you hear things like this. I wouldn't judge that child 
to be at the wrong place at the wrong time, or maybe it's part of a gang, or nobody really knows. It could be your child, it could be my child being at the wrong place at the wrong time. How secured are we? How secured are we now? Nobody can tell. Knife. Yet, we sing the songs. We pray our prayers in our four corners in the churches. Who is on the street there to declare the name of Jesus? You know what, this generation, I want to tell you, there is nothing else. No amount of uh, media coverage or forming charities or things like that will really save this generation. Mm. We need Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. But who would tell this generation about Jesus? Now it's left with me and you to do something about it. Uh, we talked about a, a 15 year old boy, well, who was also, nine. I've got several of them, so I'll go back to crime. Let me read one thing to you here crime. The overwhelming majority of street crimes, knife crime, gun crime, robbery and crimes of sexual violence in London is carried out by, can somebody complete that statement? No, no. Young men from Jesus, save our generation. You know what? I have a friend who, seeing all this thing, just went into some sort of panic. My children are not behaving and all that, so I send them to Africa for discipline. If you cannot discipline your own children, Africa. <laughs> <laughs> our days, those days where our parents just sit down here, is different from these days. If you cannot face your own parenting and ask the giver of life to help you through it, forget about it. God have mercy. God have mercy. And it's just a pity that we came here to make good life for our children. We came here to toil. We, I remember those night duties that I used to go, you know, and I come back feeling so sleepy, still drive my children to school. All the bustle and hustle of being a parent, being a mother. We go through all that. But these are the realities. Why should it be us? If they are talking about Christianity, people who know God, African Caribbean um, um, society, we are the people that know God. Where has our God gone to? What is happening that we cannot rise up and stand up for our children? Why would they not say African Caribbean community are the best, they are the good example? Go to them for advice. Ah, our children must be stars in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. I hope I'm not scaring anybody. <laughs> I'm just doing the thing I, I do. You know, if you, if you expose it, I think you are, as doctors, um, working in the hospital, maybe I'm able to diagnose, then we are able to treat, isn't it? Anyway, talking about social media, I know you all know it, but I'll quickly go through. There is this thing that came up recently, Snap Map, out of Snapchat. And you know, our teenagers, so our children are no more in Facebook. Yeah, Just in case you are looking for your children, yeah, that is why yeah, you are there. They are in snap something, mm -hmm. snapping themselves. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> and this snap map is really fearful. <coughs> My sisters, this snap map is really fearful because it can trace your children to wherever they are. And I've seen cases where um, sexual predictors have traced children to um, playgrounds. Mm -hmm. yeah. And these are vulnerable children. What do they know? They just give in to strangers. Mm -hmm. They are online. They are having fun. And that is it. So if your child is on Snapchat, can I give you one quick advice? Help them to put themselves in a ghost mode. Mm -hmm. They put themselves in a ghost mode. At least they may be doing other things there, but nobody can really trace it. Mm -hmm. Do you know who hates you in your neighborhood. You know sometimes we work so hard and sometimes people just hate you for no reason or your children. You know when you have bright children even in school people really hate them and they want to go after them. They can press them to your house. Do you know what they would do to you even the parent? We never know. People could put fire into your home. A lot of things could happen apart from our children being in so much danger. God help us. Facebook, I wouldn't talk about it so much. 
Instagram, you know, Twitter, WhatsApp. WhatsApp groups. Most of our children are in WhatsApp groups. Do you know what their mates put there? One of the things I'd like to alert you about is that if your child is called Anna, she's known as uh, Amy. Mm -hmm. They've got second accounts. Mm -hmm. And so, if your aim is to be there, you know, we used to give advice that, oh, just also be social something so that you will be there, you will find them out there, and then they know you are there. Ha <laughs> ha, they are so smart. And it's not them being smart, it's the strategy of the enemy to let them be that so smart that they will slip through your fingers without you knowing. God forbid, and may God help us. Amen. So, these are some of the things. Online grooming is going on. Pedophiles are everywhere. These are realities. I mean, everywhere. Grooming them, telling them things. There's even a side. Yeah? There is a side that they teach our children how to commit suicide. My daughter, she just went out. She's in her grammar school. And um, her mates, the only daughter, the only daughter, this girl is provided with everything, everything. What happened recently? She committed suicide. Mm -hmm. And all the children in that school, they just, girls school, there was no boy there really harassing you. You know, you can't understand, but these are the strategies mm -hmm. and the enemy is using, teaching our children things that, you know, they have young mind before you know, they pick up things and just do things, peer pressure, things like that. Those are the things the enemy is using. To, to take our star children from us. So we need to be aware of things like that. I'm telling you all these things so that when you go to your secret place, when you go to your place to pray, we don't just pray amiss, but we know where to direct our prayers to. Uh, 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 Reverend um, talked about how to be alert like the eagle. We should not let things trip. We have to be alert. When you are waking up midnight, <laughs> Don't take it. Go check even on your children. Are they breathing? What is happening? Some time ago, my boy will scream. And I say, what is happening? I repeat that spirit in Jesus' name. We can't sleep that deep. No. We need to be alert so that the enemy will not take our star children from us. I'll quickly talk about hospital confidentiality because that is the world I'm coming from. I've been a GP nurse, so practice nurse for a while. And then, so, um, teenagers, I wish I could show you some of my pictures. <laughs> teenagers come to us for consultation. Definitely, they do come with their parents sometimes, and you're having a chat with them. We do ask them, are you sexually active? They say yes, but, mm -mm, mm -mm. No. Yes, so you have that holy child that you put to church every Sunday. The child is she don't know. She's smiling. She knows how to play it. The devil is a liar. So we need to be aware of things like this. And me as a nurse, no matter how close you are to me as a friend, you may be my pastor. Please, I won't tell you her confidentiality. So your GP is not doing you any good. Your GP nurse is not doing you any good, mm. but that is the law. Yes. So please, let God open your eyes. Amen. Be like an eagle. Mm. Let God open your eyes. Mm. Do not let the enemy use this way. Mm. We have things that we sort of itemize because my child is not doing this. No. Mm. Little, little things that are going on under our watch. Yes, we can see. God, please open your eyes and save our generation. Yes. In Jesus' name. Amen. So, these are the strategies of the enemy. Now, quickly, in the schools, I promise I'll tell you some of the secrets that are going on. If you are not involved in any school activity, you are no PTA. With my daughter's school, I'm a class rep there. And so, um, I really go into things. You know, let's, let our voices be heard. Partake. If it has to, you have to do a part-time job. You know what? I don't care. Yeah. Stop going in even almost naked. Yeah. But making sure that the gifts God has given yeah. Yeah. I know a lady, and every day I give her as a, a, a testimony, a church I used to be. <laughs> um, this lady would always be the one, you know, when you know, the one that is not always well, mm. you know, according to our standard, God looks into the heart and not into the heart. Hallelujah. This woman was married. It's not like maybe you would always say, oh, because she's no. When the children were in high school, and you see this woman, she will be on the bus with them. She doesn't drive. 
she will be on the mat and I'm like, what is wrong with you? So, hmm. But she's so true, so woman of prayer. Mm -hmm. That woman who pray every day. Mm -hmm. And then she's like, I don't know, but they are, they are my, my future. They are three girls. Mm -hmm. If you see that woman now, mm -hmm. you can't compare your look mm -hmm. to her. And I said, yes, people yes, who yes. are in spirit, they, they know, they are mature enough to know how to have patience and wait. Yes. 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 The girls, they play piano in church. They, they organize choreography. I mean, one is a doctor, one is a pharmacist, and the other one is uh, doing, and I really respect her. Come and see the kind of thing they say yes. about her on Mother's Day. I saw that woman myself. <laughs> so, <laughs> hallelujah. All those things, uh, heads and things, uh, well, Brazilian and all those things, those women. Ask me today. Some of them don't even know the courses their children are reading in university. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. It's such a pity. Let's do something about it. So in the schools, please be involved. You know, let this white own people, you know, they, let them know that African Caribbean yeah. parents care. When your children, their book appointments, go to their teachers, speak with them, ask, is there anything I can do to support? Yes. You know, when they have, um, is it summer fest? Yes. Be part, just, you know, how many minutes? Be there, just, you know, mingle with them. You will learn a lot. And there's a lot of blessing in serving as well. Mm -hmm. You don't only just have to serve in church. Yes. Go out there and help the next generation. Mm -hmm. That is the letter you heard. Teenagers are crying, not just yours. Mm. Are you ready? Mm. Are you willing? Would you stand in? Mm. Would you save those kind of children who are crying? Mm. When you go back to God and he asks you, that neighbor boy that you used to give example to your children, that, 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 that. Mm. Oh, I made that boy that way because I know you could have helped. Mm. And you did it. Mm. Let it not be said of us Amen. that we ignored our responsibilities. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. LGBT, have you heard about that? Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I can be a little bit religious, you know. Forgive me. <laughs> well, that is our world today. Yeah. Can I mention that? No. Yeah. But children as little as four years in England, they will be, yes, they will be taught. Don't you think? Is the way of the enemy somehow seeping in? Mm. Teenagers are confused enough. Yeah. Yes, you know, we can't even deal with that. As little <laughs> as four, what do they know? Mm. But they're going to tell them. Last time, the daughter, little girl, so last is there, she asked me, Mommy, do I sometimes behave as a tomboy? And I said, What do you mean by tomboy? Mm. You know, sometimes we are holy. These are just. The children are being somehow confused. They are not used to things like this. And my boy is telling me, okay, why wouldn't they say embrace this race, embrace this race, but they say embrace that. And now we don't even have a mouth to say it. It's difficult. But my sisters, if we want to rise up, we can. Look at the days of poor. Look at the days of uh, the people that went ahead of us, the prophets. They stood. If it will take only one righteous person, I think it's about time. So then, therefore, these are the strategies. Religious studies in our schools today are um, compulsory. Do you know about that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so when I was in high school, we were being taught Christian religion, and I added Christian religion as well as one of my main subjects. And uh, we talked a bit about Islam, uh, religion, their pilgrims, and all that. So I got to know about that. Nobody really went to it. But then now they have to learn every religion. Mm. Do you know why your child is confused? Mm. They are now telling you, ah, you look like you are a boy, but mm. maybe you are a girl. Ah, you have everything. Now they are adding other things, love of objects. Mm. Have you heard yeah. about the O? Oh. <coughs> yeah. Well, that might not be um, where we are coming from, but these are realities, my sisters. So, if you know the strategy of the other side, you will be able to plan mm. as well. Hallelujah. Amen. I won't go so much deeper into that. Ask your children, they will tell you everything. <laughs> well, the good news, you know, um, is that once you get to know the strategies, 
we will be able to wage a war. And I believe with the help of God, we will win in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. You know, one of the things that I keep on uh, telling people, or I've discovered for myself, is that we are we are spiritual beings in a physical body. Yeah. Uh, in, 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 in Genesis, when God created man, um, he, 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 he just picked the dust. Am I right? Uh, my reference here. Yeah. yeah. And then he said he created man in his image. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. So we are all made in his image. And he uh, put his breath Hallelujah. In us. If I'm wrong, please. Yes. yes. And so actually, if you look deep into it, we are spiritual beings. We only carry this mortal body. That is why when it falls away, it goes back to Hallelujah. So if you know you are a spiritual being, you will begin to mature or grow that spirit. You know why that child wrote a letter, I'm feeling a vacuum in my heart, I don't know what it is. Because that child is a spiritual being. And not until you are at the best spiritual you, and being like the God you are created to be, you will never and never and never find that satisfaction in life. Come on. Come on. crying today, you and me, we found the secret. Mm. If it were to be a research, they should give us Nobel Award. Mm. Because our God, the Bible, you know, recently I was, I was studying, um, I think we are in the book of, which books are we studying now? James. James. And um, my children, they, they kept on asking questions. Oh, so, is this how this is? is it? You know what? One interesting thing about parenting is our children don't, you know, African way. I tell you, don't do it. No, it doesn't work. They mimic us. They do what we do. They are our reflection. Yeah. Which is why a, 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 a four-year-old um, would just play mommy and daddy. They see you do it. The mommy's mommy, mommy gets angry. She shouts. She, you know, daddy comes home and hey, I'm daddy. You just watch them. They play us. That is all they know. You are their role model. So if they see mommy reading Bible, mm, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. If they see mommy, you talked about the altar. I was going yeah. to talk about that. Do you have an altar in your home for your children to say what is happening there? Mm -hmm. They see mommy there. Mm -hmm. John Wesley, his mom, mm -hmm. Susan yeah. Wesley. Yeah. Whenever the children saw um, John Wesley, Susan uh, Wesley, um, cover her head. She had what, 10 children? The head with a kitchen apron. The children, yeah, the children know that mommy is doing something. What is that thing? Go read the history about those mothers ahead of us. I'm not talking Bible here. Real parent, real revival. One child, there was a great revival in England. Where is it going to today? Hallelujah. Amen. It can take just you yes. to bring it back in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. So, um, in Second Corinthians, maybe you say I didn't quote anything and she just came and lectured us somehow. <laughs> Second Corinthians 10 4 says, For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty, mighty to the pulling down of strongholds. Is that supposed to mean every stronghold? Or just some strongholds? Every stronghold, hallelujah. Including the stronghold of mental? Yes. Including the stronghold of street and gun? Yes. Christ. So therefore, let us stand in our calling. It is about time we are We can't see this happening every day. It breaks my heart and I know as a mother, Let's rise up. The physical battle yes. is over. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Oh, I'm happy I'm able to get there. <laughs> we are really in spirit. Hallelujah. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Our time is fast spent. Yeah, I want to quickly rush through a woman who was a star mother. Quickly, quickly, quickly in the Bible was Hannah. 
You've already talked about Hannah, so you've butchered my message. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah was a woman of prayer. Yes. And, and, and my study Bible describes Hannah as a devoted woman. I went into the word of devotion, and, 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 I, and I realized that devotion means what? Consecration. What is the meaning of consecration? Separated, set apart, holy in, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm connected to this calling. So this is it, nothing else pulls me back. Hallelujah. How devoted are you? <laughs> I've resigned. <laughs> well, and I know you can even do more than that. When it has to do with consecration or devotion, there is nothing like I'm tired. There is nothing like I can't do this. You can You've been given all the power to do it, and God will back you in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah, this woman was described as a woman of prayer and devotion. When you, um, um, I, I want to quickly, you know, when um, Samuel was born, you know all the stories, so I'm not going to bore you with that. Samuel, they said, after winning, Samuel, when, I, I, sorry, as um, mothers, we know, even these days, we don't breastfeed two, three years. I think the best I did was one year something in England, <laughs> my last one. Um, so, um, if you breastfeed, in those olden days, maybe the child was just four years. Let's take it four years. But she promised that I will bring this child back to give to God, all right, to serve in the house of the Lord. All right, let's look at the household of Eli. The household of Eli, if you go to 2 Samuel 2, quickly, um, second, uh, 1 Samuel chapter 2, the verse 2 says, Eli's sons, no, their names were Hophni and Phineas. Yes. Yes. Thank you. They said the Bible describes them as the way scoundrels and they had no regard for God. May I ask you, our generation today, what do you see? <laughs> Hallelujah. Are they having regard for God? Ask your children. May God help our children to have regard for God. Because the implications that comes with this is unbearable. Eli's home, he was a priest, but his home was in a mess. I can't read everything, so when you go home, do read it. Yes. Um, Eli's home was in a mess, and, and, and the 22, can I just say this? Uh, read it quickly, the verse 22. Now Eli, who was very old, heard about everything his sons were doing to the Israel, to all Israel, and how they slept with women who served at the entrance to the tent of meetings. So he said to them, why do you do such things? That is the verse 23. I hear from all the people about these wicked deeds of yours, 24. No, my sons, the report I hear spreading among the lost people is not good. The reports we are hearing today, are they good? No. Hallelujah. 25. If one person sins against another, God may mediate for the offender. But if anyone sins against the Lord, who will intercede for them? My sons, however, oh, his sons, however, did not listen to their father's rebuke. For it was the Lord's will. When you disobey God, it is his will now to put you to death, to put them to death. If you continue with the story, you saw how those children died, and I think even on the same day, their dad also died. That was the end, if you, um, I mean, if you continue with it, the kid, the throne was taken from that family. May that never happen to us. Those were the things that were happening in the life of um, Eli. Now, let's talk about Hannah. If it's me and you today's world, now we've been asked, let's send our child to that. Oh, I'll find so, because this is the child I've cried to God for. This is the child I know how to protect. Now I'll give excuses. God, I know you gave this child to me to give back to you. But can you change it to a different priest home? <laughs> because this home, look at these children. They are arrogant. They, you know, the next door's never. I'm just trying to compare what happened those days. 
to what is happening mm. in our world today. today. The next door neighbor, you nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so we look at it that way. So we, we, we are so much afraid sometimes. Ha, ah, don't move with this friend. Oh. Hey, if I see you, ha, ah, that boy, ah, I don't want to. And in social media, what are you doing there? We have become police. Mm. We are restless. Mm. We are worried. What did Hannah do? She knows how to do it well. Go read the prayer of Hannah. In all that mess, he said, God, I will give you praise. I pray today that we will learn how to give praise to God in yeah. times like that. In times like that, we, 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 our faith will increase enough yeah. for us to know that we have a secret place to go to and our God will look after our children for us yeah. when they go out there. Now, quickly, something I want us to learn. Uh, Star children in the Bible, for instance, were like Esther, Daniel. Daniel was a teenager when he was taken to a foreign land, yes. but he still knew. You know, one thing that baffles me some of these children were so young. Talk, mm. talk about um, 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 Samuel, mm. four years old, but yeah. still remembered yeah, yeah. the principles. You know what I was thinking the picture? Yeah. I believe when this woman picks it. Praying every day, yes, speaking yes. the word every day. This child prophesying your words, mm, yes. your words. Mm. So much so that even scientists prove that fetus, listen here. Yes. What are you telling? Or what are you speaking in your home? What are your children hearing you say? So they will manifest that which you say every day. Mm. And I believe that was someone didn't know what it was in, but the Bible says that he ministered before them. Hallelujah. Amen. I pray that our children will minister before Amen. the Lord. Amen. Daniel was a teenager. Those three Hebrew boys were teenagers when they were taken, but they never gave up on their tradition. Amen. Joseph, when he was tempted, what did he say? He said, I will, he didn't say, ah, my mom is not here, so I can do that. But this is what is happening in our generation. We, have, we are somehow uh, playing God. Yeah. Oh, if you don't do this, I'll do this to you. So your children now know. The enemy will help them to find strategies to let the doctor not tell you secrets. Mm -hmm. The enemy will now tell them to pop in false accounts. So you will not know those things. But what happens is um, that God will help us and open our eyes Amen. for us to see. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you really want to make a star child? Yes. Have I frightened you enough? <laughs> <laughs> we can make star shells in Jesus name yeah. I want to just give you quick some attributes which you've nailed already um, that a star mother you know it only takes a star mother to make star children yeah, yeah. it takes a star mother to make star children what are the attributes of a star mother yeah. just like that of the eagle the attributes of a star mother first thing a star mother should do you should never play religion Mm. Now, you know, our children are so tired. I was um, teaching Sunday school some years back, and um, I was talking about, you know, how your words should be sweet. Yes. You should not say those kind of things. And uh, two of them, two of the boys say, oh, about our parents? And you know what, who those parents were in church? They were leaders in the church. Oh, my mom says this. Oh, my, my dad. Uh, that day I was really petrified. I didn't know what to do because the children have picked from their parents. They felt it, it was okay. This way he gets in the church. Let's watch what we are saying. It's not about just come, let's go to church. Mm -hmm. Come, let's go to church. Live the life. Mm -hmm. Forget about religion and seek for relationship. Yeah. Real relationship with God. Mm -hmm. Let them know you know God mm -hmm. for yourself, not because of church. Church is just Sundays. Church is just sometimes meetings. But let them understand who you relate to. Yeah. Who is your father? Yeah. Who is the master of your home? Yeah. Let them know what you truly believe in. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. And it, the second, my second point is they are true to themselves. Mm -hmm. Sisters, don't let us um, Facebook. Be led before you put things on Facebook. Hallelujah. Yeah. Do you think everybody is happy seeing those your happy pictures? No. I don't celebrate my husband on Facebook. Why? It's not because, you know, people even call me to ask. Yeah. Oh, you realize that? Oh, he's a very good man. Yeah. I love him. I prayed for him when I was really small. God honored it. Very good man. But I don't do it. 
I have my reasons. Mm -hmm. Don't expose yourself to the enemy. Mm -hmm. yeah. What we are fighting with is so big. It's so, it's so deep. Mm -hmm. It's so deep. It's so deep. Mm -hmm. Keep it to yourself. Yeah. Why are we hammering on the same thing today? I didn't look mm -hmm. on your notes. Mm -hmm. Did I did I look? Keep it. Yes, I do it once in a while when it has to do with you know with wisdom. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. That's right. Mm -hmm. Wisdom. Pray. Yes. Be led. Be led. Who is your father? Talk to your father first. Hallelujah. Relationship. Your Facebook. Don't go searching for answers. Ah, young children, Google it. Don't Google it. Go to your father. Pray fervently and effectually. Not those kind of prayers. Sometimes declare a prayer. Let everyone in your house know you can shake that house. And, and, oh yes, sometimes you, just, you know sometimes I'm cooking and, 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 and I just feel something strange. You know God speaks to us. Mm -hmm. And I will just begin to like, oh, I should then know. <laughs> I mean, don't miss out on those moments. Yes. Be alert in your spirit. Yes. Don't miss out on, no matter where you are. If you're at work and it's break time, you have to hide in the toilet and just, yes. you know, have that quick thing. Do it. Hallelujah. Yes. Okay, let's go on quickly. Three. Star mothers are persistent. They are devoted and disciplined. They stick to the path no matter what. Can I tell you something? Things will work against you. You will go through trials. Yeah. Ah, who says it's going to be smooth? <laughs> it's not all going to be smooth. Though. That holy water you've got will not save you. That picture that you put there, that the man of God says we should put picture, you forget it. <laughs> it's <laughs> 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 the handkerchief and the oil. <laughs> shout back and shout back. <laughs> if your father in heaven cannot help you, forget it. Don't, don't forget you are a spiritual being. Hallelujah. Four. Star mothers check their associations. You've mentioned it. They do. This is just a confirmation. You know when God really wants to work, He gives confirmation. Three, three of us have message somehow interconnected. So I'm not preaching, but somehow God is speaking. And I can't love you more, my sister, for putting this together. It doesn't, it doesn't really happen these days. God bless you. Amen. Yes, so star mothers check the association. You know how we are being deceived these days. I, I, I was a victim of that. Oh, I've always been a victim of that. This one is like a holy one because he posts on the Facebook and God shall do this. What we are somehow deceived sometimes and we are being misled. And so you connect with this holy kind of person and then you, know, you sort of become vulnerable. And you are being misled sometimes. May God open her eyes. Amen. May God open her eyes and connect us to the right Amen. people. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't eat from the same altar. Amen. Don't be here today, tomorrow. When it's party, you are there. When you are playing all this, and your children are looking at you, you are taking the um, glass and doing all those things. Then you come back on Sunday, take your Bible, let's go to church. Ah, these yes. children, they read through the months. It will, it will serve you. It will produce fruit at the end of the day. Amen. Stand up on your gun and say, I am a warrior woman. Yes. I will not let anything dilute mm. my faith in God. Mm. And God will speak for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Five, they invoke generational blessings. Time at this invoke generational blessings. And generate, the, 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 the generational curses stops with them. You just talked about a generational case where about your son. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank God for your life. Amen. You knew how to walk in the spirit. Amen. These are the kind of things we are we are called to do. You know, stand in let generational cases talk with you because it is possible it will take you to do it, no one else. If you don't do it, who will? Who else? Let us stop it under our watch. No way. We will not give in to the enemy. No matter how hard it is, we will stand up and call upon our God. Let us stop with you. Hallelujah. My point six. They are selfless and seek to mentor and impact other parents or other children that they come into contact with. 
stammer this. They are very selfless. It is not me, myself. Mm -hmm. no. If it has to do with, you know, recently when um, I was away on holidays, um, God, somehow my heart just, I just remembered somebody in my village. For some reason, I couldn't put my finger on what it was. Then I called a friend, I come from Ghana, in Ghana, and I said, can you send some money to that lady? You know, the lady called me, and they said, Fida, if there should be any evil that will happen to you, let it come upon me. You know, she's like, let that evil come upon her. Because of what you've done to me, you don't know what you've just done. Can we be that sensitive to the spirit so that we don't miss the opportunity? You may not have it all together, mm. but just taking the phone yeah. and saying one word. Yes. Just yesterday or the day before, I felt something in I said, mm. I needed to send a text message. Mm. Things like that. It doesn't, it, it doesn't have to be money, mm. but let us avail ourselves yes. to other people because we are star mothers. Yes. They are spiritual giants. Mm. They are spiritual giants. Nobody... Um, Everybody is afraid of spiritual giants because they, 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 they stand in the gap for everybody, not just themselves. They stand in the gap. They are giants in the spirit. Yeah. You might be small in body, but be a giant in the yeah, spirit. Yeah, be a giant in the spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God. Hallelujah. Amen. I'll be done soon. They, they, my eighth is they master drawing strength from the secret place. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. When you master something, it means you know, you and, know, you know yeah. and you know, and you know. Yes, 90% of your strength, 90% of the miracles and the things that will change in your life will come only from your secret place. 10% mm -hmm. comes when we gather like this. Mm -hmm. as if you know that secret, you will master your secret place. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Nine, they are bold and fearless. We've heard that. Mm -hmm. So it's a confirmation. I'll leave that. Are you bold enough today that this woman as we are here, we've got going to get our placards. England for Jesus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. England for Jesus. These things you are introducing in the school are, ah, it's not part of what we believe in. Are you ready? Recently, somebody called me and said, in November, can you accompany me to the parliament? I said, mm, you are inviting the wrong person. Mm -hmm. They are going to talk about, well, what, how society is going, how we can handle our families. So she's a panelist, and she's supposed to bring one person. I said, are you sure you want me, you want me to go with you? Because I'm going to be fearless. I'm going to remind them of where they are coming from. That's right. Right. This is a Christian country. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Mm. Pray for me. <laughs> <laughs> to come back alive. Hallelujah. My <laughs> Lord in Jesus' name. My dad's very, very last point is star mothers are dangerous because, because God fights their battle for them. Mm. Yeah. Ha! Dangerous woman. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. You are dangerous. Amen. People cannot just do, you know, do with you anyhow. You can read into the spirit. Your antenna is so sharp and so true mm -hmm. to the Almighty that people cannot mess with you. Situations cannot mess with you. The secret of the enemy cannot mess with you. Before your children play it, God will reveal it to you. You, 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 you are so dangerous. Before something happens, you've already picked it up. And people will ask you, did you hear it? You can be that dangerous. Hallelujah. May God help us. May God strengthen us. Amen. May God help us to be able to do what he has called us to do. Amen. Where are, my last slide says, where are the praying mothers of today? Where are the praying aunties of today? Where are the praying grandmothers of today? Are you ready to shift your battleground? Mm -hmm. Then I've given you the secrets of what the enemy is planning on the other side. Be ready, rise up, and change the battleground. God bless you.